Hi, my name is Hardy Rupan, and I am the man in the wild. And in today's episode, we are going treasure hunting for pyrite. This rare, beautiful metal is found in the mud volcanoes of Trinidad. But before we go on to the video, I would like to thank you all for supporting this channel. For those of you who have not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button and leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to share. It goes a long way in helping us produce more videos like this. Now, on to our treasure hunt. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Pyrite is a natural metallic mineral found in Trinidad. Also called fool's gold, this natural mineral has many uses. Pyrite is used to create iron sulfate. Iron sulfate is used in many processes such as making nutritional supplements, inks, lawn fertilizers, and even in water treatments. Pyrite is also used to make car batteries, appliances, jewelry, and even machinery. There are many uses for pyrite, and although it is called fool's gold, there is monetary value for this mineral. You can find it on Amazon and eBay, and you would see the value of it. Today, my family and I is embarking on a treasure hunt. The Southwest Peninsula is dotted with hundreds of mud volcanoes. The mud volcanoes bring the pyrite up to the surface. And after the rainy season, some of the pyrite get washed out of the mud that comes up in these volcanoes. If you know where to look, you can find these pyrite pieces. If you would like to try your hand at pyrite treasure hunting, then this is what you need to know. The Southwest Peninsula is dotted with mud volcanoes on the southernmost shoreline. From Chatham to Ikakas Point is the best location you can find to search for pyrite. Along the southernmost edge of the Southwest Peninsula, look for eroded hillsides or cliff edges as you see here. Within these cliff edges is where you would find the pyrite. Not all of these hillsides are made up of volcanic mud. Some of these hills are made up of clay and even sandy loam. But if you look closely in these eroded hillsides, you would see grayish tinge of mud that is evidence of volcanic mud. It is within these eroded gray volcanic mud you may be able to find pieces of pyrite. But you must practice caution when hunting for pyrite on these eroded edges, as a simple landslide can be catastrophic. The grayish dirt that we see here was once mud that was spilled out of a nearby volcano. The rainy season has washed away the banks. And as you can see, the vines that lay here, roots are now exposed and the bulbs are there like enormous potato tubers. Although the tubers may not be edible, the mud that has been washed away here makes it an excellent area to search for pyrite. We can also see the difference in color at the base of this cliff area. This grayish color is volcanic mud and is also a good area to look for pyrite. If you look closely, buried in the sand at the base of this volcanic mud, there are pieces of pyrite. To the average person, this appears to be just rocks. But once you know what to look for, the pyrite will be discovered. And even though it looks like just plain rocks for now, once it is cleaned up, you will be able to see what makes it so special. To extract the pieces of pyrite, 
we simply dig them up as if they were pebbles lying in the sand. This is what pyrite usually looks like when it comes straight out of the ground. Mud, sand and dust particles has blocked off the shine of these pieces of pyrite. But once it is cleaned off, you will be able to see the beauty that lies beneath. And as you can see, there are quite a few pieces at the base of this eroded hillside. Once you know what to look for, there are many pieces of pyrite that you can find in this area. This entire stretch of beach has volcanic mud and is littered with pieces of pyrite. Our puppy bear doesn't seem to know what to look for. Although Sherry tries to teach him what we are looking for, he doesn't seem to care. Maybe he will be more interested in finding fossil bones. These black rocks also came out of the mud volcanoes. Although we call them mud volcanoes, they do spew out solid objects when they have large eruptions. It's a beautiful day to spend on the beach and everyone is having a great time treasure hunting. Although Bear just seems to be interested in when it will be lunchtime. Unlike Bear, the boys are experienced and they know exactly what to look for. They seem to have hit the jackpot in this rock pool as there are many pieces of pyrite in between these volcanic rocks. If you take a close look within these tide pools, you would see the shimmer and glitter of the pyrite that lies within. Although the pyrite does have monetary value, the pyrite we are searching for today will be cleaned and used as decorations within our fish aquarium. Trinidad is a beautiful tropical island. There is so much to explore and learn, so much adventures to have. All you have to do is decide to go out and adventure. Although the treasure of the day is pyrite, the true treasure can be seen in the beautiful view and ambience of this Trinidad coastline. To be part of such a beautiful atmosphere and not enjoy its ambience is a waste of a true treasure. Taking a break, relaxing and enjoying the ambience is one of the best things you can do on a day like this. Bear has tired himself out from digging in the sand and has decided to take a nap in the shade of this rock. And Sandeep displays this beautiful piece he has found. This is the amount of pyrite we have found on this treasure hunt. Its worth will be over 100 US dollars. But this set of pyrite will not be sold. 
it will be used instead as decoration in our aquarium. This is the shine that the pyrite will have after it's cleaned. Some of the pieces has been naturally cleaned by the ocean. They will all shine once they are clean. Pyrite is a very beautiful metal. It looks a lot like gold, and that's why it is usually called fool's gold. These are just a few pieces of the pyrite we found today. We clean them off with a brush and some water. You can see the beautiful shine that comes off the pyrite. The glitter and sparkle naturally comes with the pyrite metal once it is cleaned. These pieces have not been polished. This is the natural shine of the pyrite metal once it is cleaned. These beautiful natural pieces of pyrite can be found throughout the Southwest Peninsula. Wherever there are mud volcanoes, especially high in sulfur, these are found. And because there are hundreds of mud volcanoes dotting the Southwest Peninsula, there are lots of pyrite to be found. Even so, we do not go digging up the land in search of pyrite. Once a year, my family and I would make this treasure hunt after the rainy season in search of the pyrite that has been washed through the surface. Trinidad is a beautiful, natural island paradise, and we shall do all we can to protect its natural beauty and natural resources. That was my birthday video. January is birthday month for myself and my niece Savita. We would like to remind you to subscribe, like and share. Until the next video. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.